Hello guys, quickly I want to show you how you can transfer your USDT from your Bybit to BitGate, okay? So, um, in this case, I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer either to your BitGate wallet, okay? You know, we have two BitGate, the BitGate wallet and the BitGate exchange. This is the BitGate wallet and this other one is the BitGate exchange. This is the BitGate exchange. Now, the process is the same thing, okay? So I'm just going to make this video. Uh, you're going to apply the same method to each, to either of the um, uh, BitGate you're going to be using, whether you're going to, be, you're going to be using the BitGate wallet or you're going to be using the BitGate exchange. Bro, is the same thing, okay? So make sure you just follow through. So quickly, let me go to my Bybit here. Here on my Bybit, you can see, we're going to be using this account uh, for this tutorial. You can see I have ten dollar worth of USDT here. So let me go down here to my asset here. Okay. So here on my assets, I'm going to click on funding here. So you can see this is the ten USDT TRC twenty that I have in my Bybit account. So if I want to make the transfer, I'm just going to click on this USDT. When I click on this USDT, then it's going to bring me to this interface. Here on this interface, I'm just going to click on withdraw here. Okay. When I, when I click on withdraw, it's going to bring me to this interface. But alternatively, if you don't want to go through that way, then you can just from here, okay, just click on withdraw up here. Okay. When you click on withdraw up here, it's going to bring you here. Then it's going to show you your USDT. So this is the USDT here. Then I'm going to click on it. Then it's going to bring me to this interface so you can see it's the same uh interface is going to bring you to at the end of the day so here now we are expected to put in our receiving wallet address now the receiving wallet address is the wallet address we're going to be copying from our uh, bitgate account okay so uh, mind you this transaction we are doing we're going to be using usdt troc20 okay so let's go to our um bitgate account here on our bitgate account we're just going to click on this add fund. When you click on this add fund, it's going to bring you here. Now, you can see there are different options here on P2P, credit card, and other. No, don't go to any of those. Just click on the first one that is going to see, which is going to be deposit crypto, okay? Then you're going to click on it. When you click on it, it's going to bring you to this interface. Now, you can see here where it says popular coins. These are coins that I use most of the time on BitGet, and you can see search history, you can see USDT and TON. But in your own case, in case you can't find USDT or on this popular coin, on this search history here, you can come up here where it says search. On this search button here, just type USDT. You can see it's going to bring it up for you, okay? Then just click on it. All right? So when I click on USDT, it's going to bring me here and it's going to show me different chains. You know, we have TROC, USDT, TROC20. We have on Toncoin. We have on ERC20. We have on BEP20. But what we're going to be using is this TROC20. Okay, so you're going to click on it. So we click on this TROC20. It's going to bring you to this interface. So here we're going to copy our wallet address. Okay, now pay attention to this place where it says network to make sure that it's on TROC20. Okay, uh, if you are, if you if you are sending from uh, Bybit USDT TROC20, then the wallet address you're going to be copying from here must be USDT TROC20. Okay, so let's copy this wallet address now. Okay, after copying it, then we'll now go back to our Bybit. Okay, so here on Bybit, we're going to paste that wallet address we just copied from BitGet here. Okay, let's paste it here. Okay, so we've pasted it now. So after pasting it, then you're going to come down to network here, okay? So here on network, please make sure you choose TROC20. So let's click on it, okay? So you're going to see different network here, ERC20, TROC20, Arbitron1, and all that, but you just choose this TROC20, okay? So uh, here now we're going to choose the amount we want to transfer from our Bybit to our BitGate account. So it could be $5 or it could be $9. Any amount you want to transfer, you're just going to put it, okay, in here. Just make sure you put it in here. But if you want to transfer all the USDT TROC20 that you have in your BitGate account, then you're just going to click on this max, okay? Click on max. Like in my own case, I want to transfer everything, so I'm going to click on max here, 
okay then you're going to come down here mind you they are going to be charging you 1.3 usdt as a gas fee okay that's what they charge for the transaction fee okay so i'm going to click on uh, withdraw here okay let's click on withdraw so we click on withdraw it's going to bring you to this interface just to show you the transaction you're about to make for you to be able to cross check and be assured that everything you are doing is right okay so you can see usdt is on trc20 and you can see my wallet address what i do most of the times i go back to the bitget to check and confirm this wallet address okay so you can see my wallet address thm that's the first three letters and the last three letters is 5u2 okay so let's come here and confirm thm 5u2 so you can see uh they actually correspond right it's the same thing so the next thing i'm going to do now is just to click on confirm okay i'm click on confirm it's going to bring me here so here you can see i have two verification here one is my email okay which you are most likely going to have but also i have google authenticator here this google authenticator is only if you actually integrated it into your security architecture your baby tak and that is where you can you will see this google authenticator but if you don't have it it's good and fine if yours is just only email and you can go ahead and use the email okay so let me quickly do the uh security confirmation then we'll proceed from there all right then i'm going to click on confirm okay so you can see uh, the withdrawal has been set in motion okay so what we're going to hold on until i receive it in my bitgate wallet account then i'm going to be showing you okay now at this point if you've not subscribed to this channel guy please go ahead and subscribe to this channel okay and also give this video a like please like this video if you are getting value okay so as soon as we receive the 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 the, the coin in my bitget wallet account i'm going to be showing you guys all right a few minutes later okay so guys i just received the usdt in my bitget account so you can see it here you can see the usdt this is the nine point one usdt here so you can see this is it here so you can see if you follow the process step by step like i showed you in this video uh you'll be able to transfer your usdt from bybit to your bitget either your wallet or your crypto or your uh, exchange account okay remember i told you that the process is the same thing if you are sending to either uh bitget wallet or your bitget exchange the process is the same thing okay now please remember don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you've not done that okay i'll see you guys in the next one do take care of yourself and bye bye for now